Okay, well, happy Monday. Um, I actually wanted to make a quick walkthrough video of how exactly to apply for these Airbnb co-hosting jobs. Um, so if you're an Airbnb host and you have property and you're looking, you know, uh, for a co-host or something like that, this video may not apply to you. This is specifically for people who are interested in co-hosting. Um, and if you don't know what that is, just to give you kind of a brief rundown, um, Airbnb co-hosting is when you are working with or partnering with the Airbnb host or property manager. So as a co-host, this is typically appealing, you know, if you don't have any capital, if you don't own any property to put on Airbnb, if you don't want to put up a big investment, like buy a place, furnish a place, the whole nine yards. Um, so if this is for people who actually want to get paid, you know, make money on Airbnb and get paid from the host or the property owner uh, without actually putting up any investment on their end. So I think co-hosting is probably one of the best opportunities to get into here in 2023 because there are a ton of hosts, um, obviously with the rise of Airbnb in the past couple years or so, um, there are just a ton of hosts and a ton of property owners who are growing their business and they need people to come in and they need people to help them manage their listings. So they need people to help with writing reviews, communicate with guests. They need people who are going to be able to coordinate um, you know, cleaners in and out of their units who are going to be able to adjust the calendar, adjust pricing, um, things like that. And I will say that nine times out of 10, these jobs are going to be remote. So um, I will jump into my computer here in a second. I'm just going to be covering how to find these jobs on like two different sites um, and, and really try to go more in depth with you than I would be able to on a shorter form TikTok video. So that's why I wanted to make this just so it's like more of an in-depth kind of explanation and you can see exactly what, um, what I'm doing step by step. So let me actually go back. Um, that way you can see like from the very beginning, um, what I do. So on Google, just go to google.com and we're going to be looking at the Google job board. So I typically type in Airbnb co-host and you can type in jobs if you wanted to take it to Google, to Google jobs. Let me move my bubble. Um, okay. So right here, when it says jobs like this, it's going to take you directly to Google jobs. So that's what we want to do. Google jobs is great because it basically pulls information and it pulls jobs from different job boards. So if something is on Indeed or Fiverr or Upwork or like any of these other <laughs> job boards, um, it's going to pull them from there. So you can see right off the bat, I'll just, I mean, you can scroll and scroll and scroll for an infinite um, period of time and you're going to be finding these jobs like, like seriously, they are a dime a dozen. Um, and then kind of on this subject as well, let's say that you have like a very specific co-host job that you're looking for, whether it's part-time or, um, I don't know, something specific that you just can't seem to find. Um, then always like check back if you can't, if yeah, like you just can't seem to find exactly what you're looking for, check back in a week, um, or check back in a couple days because these jobs are constantly just like being posted, um, and then, you know, people obviously fulfill the position and they're taken down and then there's a new job. So like these jobs will always just kind of flow in and out. Um, so make sure you're, you know, if you do want to become a co-host and you're at that point that make sure you are kind of diligent and staying up to date with these jobs. Um, you want to make sure that if something good comes across that you are kind of one of the first applicants to get your foot in the door, um, before that job is basically fulfilled by somebody else. Um, so let's jump in here. I mean, this is, is pretty um, standard stuff, but let's just look at like the first example here. It'll let me do it. I have a video processing for YouTube on the background, so I'm hoping it will let me click. Okay, so here we have remote Airbnb co-host. This is just the first one here. It's also, you can see that it is um, also available on Upwork. So Upwork is going to be the other site that I talk about here in a moment, just to show you exactly how to use them. But um, like I said, Google Jobs pulls from a lot of different sources. So you're going to be able to find the Upwork jobs typically on um, Google Jobs as well. Um, and then you have like stuff via Glassdoor. You have a bunch of other remote um, 
Airbnb co-host position. So um, let's literally just look at one of them. If you do, <clears throat> if you do want to be remote, um, nine times out of 10, these jobs are going to be remote positions, but make sure when you're in there looking at the actual specific job, um, make sure that you don't come across something unless you want it to, but make sure that it's not, um, that it doesn't like require you to be local because like I have seen on occasion, some of these jobs want someone who is local. So it'll say like, you know, this is not a remote job or whatever it may say. Um, in this case, yeah, see, they are looking for a maintenance technician. It says Airbnb co-host in the title, but obviously upon further review, it says this, seeking a trustworthy residential maintenance technician, um, which isn't exactly a co-host. It looks like they're kind of seeking more of a 